In this lesson, we focus on preparing the VinChecker. VinChecker is a concept to um, test if the Vin exists in a particular memory. Usually, we will search for it in um, EEPROM. If it is emulated, of course, we will check in the emulated area of uh, EEPROM in Flash, or we can check if the Vin exists in RAM. VIN is a, a vehicle uh, identification number. Uh, number consists of uh, 17 digits, uh, digits and uh, we will check the last four. The last four. First, we'll prepare the diagram for that. So I use the drive IO. Here it is started. So the basic concept of our wind checker first i'll write a bit about the uh, idea so i will check i will check if the win exists in the memory descri described by uh, address registers. So I will just keep A15. This will be begin of the area. Mm -hmm. Then we will use A14 as and. Then I will use RAM place, RAM cell. I will name it here. I will keep the flag. Here I will keep the flag if the VIN is already checked. If VIN is OK, the result will be 1. If VIN is checked but it is improper, so the, your program, your, your tuning is copied to another, another car, this will be value 2. And finally, 0, it will be not checked. Because all the cells in RAM which are empty, are initiated with the value of zero. So then zero is a good idea as a flag that the VIN is not yet checked. So let's write this down to bad, one, good, and zero, not checked. This function should run only once. For example, at the moment, when any map like torque limit map is checked for the first time, loaded for the first time, so then we will just do the proof of, of VIN. All right, then I will use data register 15 as a value loaded from flash and then something like d14 and so on when needed we will see so this is the basic concept let's try to Let's try to build the graph. So, of course, here we start. 
and uh, same will be for and and can be also at the bottom but I will just keep and here so the first operation will be preparing the addresses so maybe I will use rectangle for that load A15 with the beginning and A14 with the end of the memory. Of course we will use load H.A and then LIA, load effective address, as this example is for Tricorp. I will prepare the same example for uh, Motorola PowerPC. Now it's a Freescale PowerPC. Alright, so this is the first operation. After it is loaded, we should just check if the if the uh, VIN is already checked. So maybe it's not a good idea to load it every time. Maybe let's check this first. So I will just use the decision. Hmm? Is, is checked different than zero. Mm -hmm. Anything different than zero means that the VIN is already checked. So here we will go till the end, but uh, not yet exactly till the end, because if there is wrong value, then we should just kill the kill the file, lock the ECU. So let's add additional dec decision. If it is checked, is it two? Uh-huh. This will be, of course, no. If it is two, then what should we do? We should just do the something like self jump. It's a dead loop. All right, so let's go back to this part. If the decision is that the uh, VIN is not yet checked, we load the registers. Then we start the loop. And in this loop, first operation will be to add one to actual position. But actual position will be, we can use A15 for that. So I will just simply do something like A15 is A15 plus 1. So in that case, we should just start, if we exactly would like to check all the bytes of the area, we should start A15 not exactly from begin of the memory area, but one byte earlier. But because the VIN, because the VIN is uh, 17 uh, values, 17 bytes, and we check only last four. So this is not a big mistake if we do not start from exactly first one byte, but mm, from second, because the first operation will be adding one to A15. If we would like to correct this and to be strict, we should just uh, store here 
the a15 as a value uh, of the beginning minus one. All right, so here our loop will come back. So this is our loop. 